Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of September going into the beginning of October. Wow. You guys have a major transformative type of energy going on with you guys right now. So right at the center, we have the 12th house. The 12th house is all to do with surrender. This is the spiritual house. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys are either experiencing or have been experiencing the past couple of weeks, a lot of questions about life. Uh, this could represent questioning if you are with the right person, if you are uh, dating the right person, where is this going, what is my life going to look like in the future. There's a lot of questions that are coming up. And again, uh, the 12th house and ascendance has a lot to do with going internally with the 12th house, internalizing, seeing how we're feeling, and then outwardly with the ascendant, what's the outlook? What does it look like it's going to uh, become in the very near future? So I see you guys being extremely, uh, for some of you guys, this could even be like uh, revelations for you guys. Uh, you have Venus here, which speaks directly about love. So if you are with Mars action, if you guys have been in a relationship or currently in a committed relationship that's had, you know, a lot of ups and downs, um, a lot of turbulent type of energy, you guys are now, you know, acknowledging that and you're trying to look towards the future. Now, this is not usually a particular trait that Sagittarius has uh, about thinking ahead, thinking of the future. And I do see you guys being very much in your head about, am I with the right person? Am I giving love and am I receiving love? What is it that I feel genuinely about this person? Uh, if you've been in a long-term committed relationship, and like I said, you have had trials and turbulations, you guys are asking the hard questions. You guys are asking, you know, is it worth all the strife and struggle that we've been through? Is there still love as it was in the beginning? Or is it just because we've grown accustomed to one another? You're asking all of this because with the ascendant, this is the outlook. This is the effect. This is the expression. This is all to do with Again, like I said, planning for the future. So you guys are definitely becoming or aligning yourself to the empowerment and embodiment of what you should be. You also have conjunction, and this is an empowerment card. This is about strength. So with Mars, which is action, um, forceful action in some situations, this is to do with desire and impulse. This is to do with force. This is heat. This is excitement. This is uh, action and movement. And what I see here with the empowerment, I feel that you guys are going into this new era, this new cycle of giving love to yourself and believing in yourself or being more confident. You're also becoming spiritually aligned. So this represents, again, questioning or asking the difficult, the hard questions because you're trying to get to the root of what no longer is working for you and what, where you want to take this relationship, where you want to go in this connection because we're looking to the future. So again, a lot of action, a lot of movement and transformative energy coming through for you guys. You also have Pluto here, and this is the transformation card. A lot of endings. If, Like I said, if you've been in a long-term committed relationship for the past 10, 20 years, you're asking those questions because your soul is needing validation. Are you on the right path or are you just settling? For some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, you're asking these questions as well. You're saying, you know, I've been single for so long. Is it because I'm guarded? Is it because I've been tainted? Because I've gone through very difficult situations where my spirituality, my belief, 
or my creed has been tested and the ascendant looking towards the outcome, looking towards the future. What do I want in the future? Where is my energy? Where is my focus? Is this person or the persons or the people that you're dealing with, are they bringing you that type of peace? Are they bringing you that type of alignment to what you want your life to be? And again, with the empowerment, if they're not, you're growing stronger by the minute, Sagittarius. You're growing stronger by the minute to the point of making a decision that perhaps for some of you guys if this person or this connection or this relationship is not working out for you you're going to grow strongly enough to believe in yourself and love yourself enough to be able to walk away and embrace this new beginning or this transformation that's happening now for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while if you've been pushing people away or not becoming vulnerable or not allowing yourself to be vulnerable because you're scared of connecting with someone that later on may hurt you like they've done in the past. Mars is here to tell you, you got to take action. You can't sit there and think about romance or want love without actually allowing people to get close to you. And you believe in yourself enough that you're willing to take that chance. Why? Because you deserve to be loved. Because you deserve to be happy. Because you deserve to find a person that's going to love you and accept you for who you are. And then the transformation blooms. The transformation happens for you, Sagittarius. Very beautiful energy. Now, I was shuffling... Um, the energy cards and i got return of spirit so again i feel you guys being very empowered i feel that synchronizations are very strongly for you right now this could be the validation this could be your spirit guides your ancestors your archangels uh, coming through for you and allowing you to see you know what sagittarius this is where we need to work this is what we need to let go of to be able to live our best life return of spirit is that of believing either in faith or believing in your spirit guides and acknowledging them and giving them the opportunity to step in and help you in the parts of your life where you need help or more clarity. You also have mediumship. So you guys are going to be experiencing a lot, a lot of synchronicities. You guys are going to be experiencing a lot of like uh, prophetic dreams or being very connected to your intuition. Pay attention to that, Sagittarius. You were born with a gift. You were born with a gift and throughout life, throughout difficulties, throughout people, they've tainted that type of energy. It's time to return to spirit. It's time to remember who you are and take your power back. It's time for you to acknowledge your intuition and know that there is uh, an innate need for you to be connected to spirit, whether it be through religion, whether it be through practice, whether it be through uh, speaking or working with angels, whatever it is, whatever it is that works for you. But now is the time to do that. Why? Because we have recognition here. And recognition is not just attention, but it also represents validation from spirit. It also represents uh, people coming towards you that are genuine and authentic in what they're looking for. And it is al in alignment to what you're looking for, Sagittarius. So very beautiful cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.